Uh, hello everyone, my name is Cvetan and today I'm going to show you a really easy way how you can start uh, monitoring the performance of your uh, websites by using um, Google PageSpeed Insights API and uh, Google Sheets. Uh, for an example that I will show, uh, we will set up monitoring on uh, rubix.com uh, product page. So the first thing that we have to do is to get an API key for Google Page Speed Insights. So we need to find the document page of Google Page Speed Insights and then we have to request uh, an API key. Uh, when we click on the Get API key, we need to choose a project and if we don't have such project that we are going to monitor, we just have to create one. And we'll call our project rubix.com. Now we click next and we have to wait for the API key to be generated. Okay, so this is our API key and for now we will keep this page open. Now uh, we have to go to uh, Google Sheets. And when we go to Google Sheets, we need to open uh, a blank sheet. And once we have the sheet uh, loaded, uh, we have to go to Tools and the Script Editor. So in this, uh, in this page, we can include or we can inject a script that will automate uh, most of the work that we have to perform to do the monitoring. And this uh, script will call uh, Google PageSpeed Insights API, will get the data and then it will populate uh, the data in this uh, sheet. I already have this uh, script prepared and I only will uh, copy it and paste it here and I only have to uh, set up a couple of things. The first thing is the API key and I will copy the API key from the already generated one. Then for the target location that we want to monitor, uh, we ha just have to put it in this placeholder. Now we have to save our uh, project and we again have to write the name. So we are almost done. We now we have to uh, select the function for uh, that performs the monitoring part. And we can press the run button and now let's see what happens. Uh, well, actually uh, we have to give permission to the script to write in this uh, spreadsheet and we are going to do that. We see that we got uh, the first row as a uh, columns uh, labels and we are ready with the first uh, result of this monitoring. Uh, we are going to set up only a graphic that will show us how the start render time changes for uh, desktop and mobile devices. To do that, we need to select the start render desktop, desktop column and start render mobile. Then we go to insert, chart,
and we also can make this look a bit uh, nicer so we click on smooth line chart and we are almost ready well we see that we have only one record here but later I will show you how it looks like when we do continuous monitoring and one important detail that we have to pay attention on is that we need to automate this monitoring and we can do this by setting up a trigger that executes this script uh, on specific time period and we can do this on daily basis or hourly basis and in this example I will just do it to run once a night so for select event source we select time driven and we select a day timer uh, we also have to select the function that needs to be triggered on this uh, event and we are almost done well here is our trigger and now let's look at the project that already was running for about uh, a month and this is how it looks like so I hope that this helps to somebody